Hi kids! Welcome back to our Bible Truth Story. My name is Teacher Des and I will be your Bible Truth Storyteller for today. And our story, this is about donkey talk. This is in Numbers chapter 22. The Israelites struggled on a plain of Moab and come near the Jordan River. The Moabites were frightened to see so many people. What if they attack us? They said, We will be destroyed. So the king of Moab sent messenger to find a prophet named Balaam. They asked Balaam to put a curse on the Israelites so the Moabites could defeat them in the battle. Balaam said, Spend the night here. I will ask God what he wants me to do. The night the Lord spoke to Balaam, Do not go with this man. You must never curse my people who are blessed. When he told the messengers that the Lord would not allow him to curse the Israelites, they said, don't let God stop you from doing this. We will pay you lots of money. Balaam was tempted by what they were offering and said, I'll ask God again. The next day, Balaam got up, saddled his donkey, and left with the messengers of Moab. God was very angry that Balaam had disobeyed. He sent an angel with a drawn sword to stand in the road to block the way. Balaam's donkey saw the angel and turned off the road into a field. Balaam beat his donkey for doing this, but he could not see the angel. This happened second and third time until finally the Lord opened the donkey's mouth and said to Balaam, What have you done to you to make you beat me three times? Balaam could not believe his ears. A talking donkey? He thought. If I had a sword, I'd kill you right here. Then the Lord opened Balaam's eyes, and he saw the angel of the Lord standing in the road with his sword drawn. Your donkey saw me and turned away from me three times. If you had not, I would have killed you, for you have disobeyed the Lord and I am sent to stop you. Balaam said to the angel, I have sinned. I will turn around and go back. The angel said, Go on with this man, but speak only what I tell you. Balaam agreed and went to meet with the king of Moab. Instead of cursing the God of Israel, he praised the Lord again and again for His goodness and His faithfulness. The king was furious. Go, I told you to curse my enemies, not bless them. The prophet Balaam told the king that Moab would soon be defeated and out of Israel would come a great ruler. The king went away very sad. Our Bible truth for this morning, I will praise the Lord for his goodness. Say it again, I will praise the Lord for his goodness.